Hi. Hi, how's it going? Not so good. You mean your S sale isn't making it? No, I haven't sold anything. Oh, come on, Susan. You got to do this for Mr. Hooper. Now, he's got a lot of things. We, we promised him we'd take care of the store. I didn't do too well. Bob didn't do too well. It's all up to you, right? Well, why don't you buy a soda from me? I'll buy a soda from you later. I really will. But right now, you really got to get in there and pitch and sell, okay? You can do it. Keep a smile on your face. Don't worry about it. In the meantime, I've got a story for you. You're going to love it. This story is called Stevie. Stevie is a little boy who comes to visit a little boy named Robert. And Robert tells the story. And here's how Robert tells it. He says, one day, my mama told me, you know, you're going to have a little friend come stay with you. And I said, who is it? And she said, you know, my friend, Mrs. Mack, well, she has to work all week, and I'm going to keep her little boy. I asked, for how long? She said, he'll stay all week, and his mother will come pick him up on Saturdays. The next day, the doorbell rang. It was a lady and a kid. He was smaller than me. I ran to my mother. Is that them? They went in the kitchen, but I stayed out in the hall to listen. The little boy's name was Stephen, but his mother kept calling him Stevie. Well, my name is Robert, but my mama don't call me Rob Birdie. And so Steve moved in with his old crybaby self. He always had to have his way. And he was greedy, too. Everything he sees, he wants. Could I have some of that? Give me this. Man, since he was littler than me, while I went to school, he used to stay home and play with my toys. I wished his mother would bring some of his toys over here to break up. I used to get so mad at my mother when I came home after school. Mama, can't you watch him and tell him to leave my stuff alone? Then he used to like to get up on my bed to look out the window and leave his dirty footprints all over my bed. And my mama never said nothing to him. And on Saturdays, when his mother comes to pick him up, he always tries to act cute just cause his mother's there. He picked up my airplane and I told him not to bother. He thought I wouldn't say nothing to him in front of his mother. I could never go anywhere without my mother saying, take Stevie with you now. But why I gotta take him everywhere I go, I'd say. Now, if you were staying with someone, you wouldn't want them to treat you mean, my mother told me. Why don't you and Stevie try to play nice? Yeah, but i always been nice to him with his old spoiled self. He's always got to have his way anyway. I had to take him out to play with me and my friends. Is that your brother, Bobby, they'd ask me? No. Is that your cousin? No, he's just my friend, and he's staying in my house, and my mother made me bring him. Ha ha, you got a babysit. Bobby the babysitter. Oh, be quiet. Come on, Steve. See? Why you gotta make all my friends laugh for? Ha ha, Bobby the babysitter, my friend said. Hey, come on, y'all, let's go play in the park. You coming, Bobby, one of my friends said. No, my mama said he can't go in the park because the last time he went, he fell and hurt his knee with his old stupid self. And then they left. You see? You see, I can't even play with my friends. Man, come on. I'm sorry, Robert. You don't like me, Robert? I'm sorry, Stevie said. Oh, be quiet. That's okay, I told him. One time, when my daddy was having company, I was just sitting behind the couch, just listening to them talk and make jokes and drink beer, and I wasn't making no noise. They didn't even know I was there. Then here comes Stevie with his old loud self. Then when my father heard him, he yelled at me and told me to go upstairs, just cause of Stevie. Sometimes people get on your nerves and they don't mean it or nothing, but they just bother you. I gotta put up with him. My mama only had one kid. I used to have a lot of fun before old stupid came to live with us. One Saturday, Steve's mother and father came to my house to pick him up like always. But they said that they were gonna move away and that Stevie wasn't gonna come back anymore. So then he left. The next morning, I got up to watch cartoons and I fixed two bowls of cornflakes. Then I just remembered that 
Stevie wasn't here. Well, sometimes we had a lot of fun, you know, running in and out of the house. Well, I guess my bed will stay clean from now on. But that wasn't so bad. He, he couldn't help it because he was stupid. I remember the time I ate the last piece of cake in the bread box. <laughs> and I blamed it on him. We used to play cowboys and Indians on the stoop. I remember when I was doing my homework, I used to write, I used to try to teach him what I learned. He could write his name pretty good for his age. I remember the time we played boogeyman and we hid under the covers with daddy's flashlight. And that time we was playing in the park under the bushes and we found these two dead rats and one was brown and one was black. And him and me and my friends used to cook Mickeys or marshmallows in the park. We used to have some good times together. I think he liked my mama better than his own because he used to call his mother, mother. And he called my mama, mommy. Oh, no, man. I let my cornflakes get soggy thinking about him. He was a nice little guy. He was kind of like a little brother, little Stevie. I like that story. I think we'll read it again soon. <laughs>